Okay, so we're back from break. Well, that was quick. That was a good break. And we are here to talk about something that you, at least, enjoyed a lot before I did. Yeah. So I'll let you man, the, man this conversation. Okay, so Doom. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it might be the Super Nintendo or PC the first time I played. I don't remember because the game was released also on the Game Boy Advance, on the Sega 32X, on the Atari Jaguar, on the Panasonic 3DO, I believe, the PlayStation 1, the Saturn, and the lately Xbox Live Arcade. Well, let's not forget the Xbox 3 Doom also included Doom 1. Exactly. <laughs> Xbox One Doom 2 Collection. Yeah, it's true. I did buy that to play. <laughs> I did buy it, yeah it's true. And on this Super Nintendo it was a red cartridge. I don't know if you if you remember. Yeah, like Maxim and Carnage. It was red also. It was red. Oh and good. the limited edition Dr. Kong Country one, which is green. <laughs> is, it, is that true? That was true last time I checked. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, good. I think that's one of the reasons why I always read the two. It was it was red. But it was really cool to have that in your in your room. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a great game to, uh, I don't know, did you did you play it back in the day or was like you just discovered it like a few years ago? I had, um, I'd seen this, the, the one for Super Nintendo okay. for rent, okay. uh, because at the time that was probably the only console that I could play it on, Okay. and I don't know, I just never got interested by the type of first person shooter. Yeah, I know you. But I'll tell you why. Okay. This is a kind of a funny story. Um, basically, when I was maybe nine or ten years old, I went to an acquaintance's house, and he had a computer that was capable of playing PC games. <laughs> so at the time, that was pretty impressive. Yeah. And the one game that he would play pretty much all the time was Castle Wolfenstein 3D. Okay, the the before Doom. Exactly. Okay. And I basically watched him play through that game for maybe in two hours and I got sick of it because in my opinion it was always the same thing find the key find the door find the exit it is what it is and I just got so bored of that style that whenever I looked at the Doom box it's I same. would see Castle Wolfenstein but with demons and be like I don't want to play this yeah it's basically the same game but with like I would say much better improvement obviously oh no I think it was called Wolfenstein 3D yeah, that was the name. Okay, yeah, Castle Wolfenstein was is the, uh, the newer version on, on, on PC. Yeah. Yeah. So he burned me on, on first person shooters for a while. Yeah. And that's why I never played it until mm -hmm. we had to do it. It's this. funny because uh, uh, I did. I don't like the original Wolfenstein 3D, so maybe that's why. Because I, I did play it after Doom and the graphics are the same. It's, and the sound is not very good, the animation, so yeah, it's true. That's why it burned you. <laughs> I couldn't understand. But that game is made by a big uh, developer. It's software. Like, uh, they're known from uh, Quake and Wolfenstein, obviously. So Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3, big one. Doom 3. Um, at Doom 3 was one of the biggest release on PC, like, uh, the for anticipation maybe like it was the crisis of that era exactly 2001 I think 2000 yeah. okay. I, remember, I remember the hype it was half life then. 2 and two, three, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it was the crisis for the time yeah I remember the hype because there was PCs the PC that you would need to run Doom at full would exist when that game came out exactly it was kind of like one of the earlier future proof games uh, at least in recent memory. Yeah, I think it was August uh, 03, from what I remember. Right, yeah. yeah, I still remember because I was like, I was waiting for that game. <laughs> and it's true because I got the uh, funny, funny thing, uh, I got the, the, the video card approved by that it was going to play <laughs> Doom 3. But by the time the game came out, I was impossible to play. I got like 10 frames per second. Wow. So that's why for me, I never liked Doom 3. <laughs> Until I played on the Xbox 360. Yeah. Yeah. It was backward compatible. Right. It, that was the, the only time I did not enjoy that game. <laughs> so like 3-4 years after. Because <laughs> it burned me at that time. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, I don't know why it was that game stick to me. I think it was, it was the first one was the first first person shooter at least memorable because I don't know because yeah you had great music 
like every level is very is catchy and you have great monsters, great gore, great violence. Yeah, I think that was one of the it's, it's earlier... Very, it's unique. Yeah. For the time. It's kind of like the Even Mario now. Brothers. For the well, what Mario did for 2D platformer. Exactly. What did for first person. Yeah, it's true because like when... Like, I think it's uh, 15 years from now. Well, 15 years now. And we're always looking back at Doom as the, the good one. Yeah. And... If you think about Doom, you know, also think of uh, Doom. I don't. No, no, because it's the same game. People always like compare it. Compare it. Well, because it's basically the same, same type of group, same like nervous system, like right. the elf, the ammo, the elf, everything. And basically, like you need to find the key to get to the exit. That's why. No, I don't know. I, I, don't did, I didn't play that much Duke Nukem either. Not me either. I don't like that game, but that's why I Doom was so popular that Duke Nukem came out. But like right after Quake, I believe, came exactly. out. Exactly. So it yeah. killed Duke Nukem. Yeah, Quake. <laughs> but I, never, I was never a fan just because it has like a huge following. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, I think Quake is different. Uh, yeah, for different, different reasons. It's better that's for different a, That's reasons. another... Uh, that's a different fight. Yeah, I know. For a different game. I know, but it's true. Uh, and it was great for the time because uh, you don't even control the mouse on that. For a PC game, you know, it's like... It's only like arrows and right, space right, bars. Right. you didn't have to aim up. Exactly. It, aim. it was auto-aiming. Yeah. You just... You just center the... crosshair to, to the enemy and that's it. Yeah. It was, was very funny. Yeah. And there's a lot of secrets in this game too. I think uh, it has so many secrets that I'm sure people who've played the game for hours without any strategy guides would probably still find secrets if they look now. Yeah, it's true. It's because you, every door, because there was no way to say, to see what door would have a secret item behind it. You'd literally have to click the open button on every wall exactly. to find out what's going to be hidden. Yeah, it's true. So, so I mean, that's I think one of the earlier. There's a games where there's a few secrets on the on the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because on the YouTube video I got the uh, better version. I did play it on PC, but with updated graphics. Uh, I think the mod called Doom Remake. It's funny because the Doom One is uh, the size of the game is 12 megabytes, but the, <laughs> but the, the, the mod is at 500. <laughs> It's very funny, just to get better graphics. And you'll see me in the game, and it's pretty, pretty cool because for the mud, you can angle the mouse. So it's different. And I did cheat, and you can jump. So it's some not fair, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, but it was for the video. Like, instead of like, sometimes you see the exit, but you need like the key to get through that, I just jump. And <laughs> you'll see me in the video, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so that's why it's, it's, it's a game that I think it. From what I know, it's the first game that ha that had some mod to it on PC. Like you have, like you can play the game with like Ghostbuster mod, The Simpsons, uh, Star Wars, Terminator. So that's why it's for a PC game. 93. It's pretty impressive. And keep, even like Quake 3 now, it's still playing with like mods and everything. I think that's why. Yeah, and I think this is pretty much where. I don't want to say PC gaming started to become mainstream, but it's one of those games where historically it changed the way PCs were thought about. Yeah, definitely. Because before then, PCs were just, you know, you would play mud games or you would play very, very basic text type games and very basic graphics. And most people didn't think of it as a platform to put a game on that would be popular like Doom. Exactly. Doom, Yuga, Quake. These are all names that as soon as you say them, people have a memory of them at least in some form. Even now you can replay the game and the graphics are pretty are okay. Like they're not ugly. So that's why for the time it was very good. Yeah, definitely. So uh, that, does that conclude the new talk or do you have Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot I wanted to say, so that's all I can say. So we just... Okay, so I guess that concludes this week's...